We're here all this morning. We're on the Ross Barnett Reservoir here in Jackson, Mississippi. And we're fishing this morning with Terry Stewart and his son Cole. And one quick thing, Terry and I didn't know it, but his wife and I grew up together in the same neighborhood right inside Clinton, Mississippi. So we kind of got a little history there, but we never fished together. But uh, we're going to try it this morning for crappie fishing on the reservoir. Weather's nice. We, if we don't catch any, we can't blame it on the weather. Well, you know, the spawn's, a little, the spawn's a little slower this year in the reservoir just because of all the rain and the temperature of the water's been down. So exactly. let's try all your spots today, and if they don't like, <laughs> we'll try mine next time. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> sounds good. Let's go get them, fellas. Depth are we fishing right here, Terry? Uh, we in 13 foot. Let's let's run right down the middle of it. I try one up around that first eye, and then another one right off the bottom. Then we'll ease up there this ledge. Look at him. Uh -oh. Hey, hey get you on that one that bit, didn't you? Come on in with him, bud. Told you, Cole's gonna catch it first. I heard that. He caught it on your side of the boat. <laughs> hey, man, leave my fish alone, bud. Wind's always a factor, so sometimes it's a little bit easier with that with that trolling motor gauge. We've been kind of experimenting with it and it's, it's working out okay so far. There we go. Yeah, man. Hey, that's what's up. You go ahead and handle him, bud. That's right. yours. Hey, that's them. Oh, dang. Both yeah, yeah, both of them. <laughs> hey, that's a good sign. They're pretty hungry, then. Well, there we go. Uh, Why don't we get this one in the boat? Okay. A bad barnet perch here. He'd make a sandwich. Female? Yeah, that's probably female. She's uh, probably done laid all the, most all her eggs. Uh, a lot of times we catch a male now, he's usually gonna be be black. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's still got some of them watching the nest and and all that. Still, still doing the thing. But usually, if they white right now, it's usually gonna be a female. With Barnett, they they you got different areas of the lake where they spawn uh, at different times. You can still we may still catch a fish today that may still have some eggs in them, so they're going to be shallow, but you got a lot of fish that's already spawned that could be moving back out to the deeper water. It's pretty cool because, it's just, like I say, different parts of the lake, they spawn at different times. Right. This deer might work. There you go. Pretty good little old female here. She still got, got a few eggs, eggs in her. That's actually your fish, Kevin. I'm just backing you up, man. Pretty good barnet female. She, she's still a little puffy. Got a few eggs left in her, but doesn't lay most of them. Come on in here. He was finna get that net, uh, Kevin. You say, yeah, he didn't want to lose another one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's getting the hang of now. He's getting them in the boat. <laughs> he leaned toward that net a little bit. That's a pretty good sized net. He can re almost reach the bank over there. <laughs> There we go. Net that and cut. Look at oh. that double, man. Oh, that one got off. Catch it two at a time up here, Scooter. Man, that's a good fish right there, boy. They got a couple of jigs or road runners on, and they're pulling them out the side or back of the back boat. The boat. Mm -hmm. They run down through there about 0.8 or maybe one mile an hour, depending on what they need. Just cover a lot of ground, man. They catch, catch a lot of fish. Uh, know the name Billy Joe Cross? Billy Joe Cross sounds familiar. Yeah, Billy Joe, known for being a really good crappie fisherman, and had several cookbooks, and worked for the state for a while, and DU and stuff like that. He uh, he's big time crappie fisherman, and uh, he said your dad and I worked in a chemical plant in Vicksburg years ago. He said we both worked there for about two years. He said and that that chemical plant got in the way of our hunting and fishing. He said, so I changed career path. Got us another one up here, Scooter. Here you go, Cole. Oh, all right, put it on. Uh, yeah, if you need to let a little drain out, you can. Yeah, 
Oh man, yeah. Oh, kitty cat. Oh. Okay, you want them? This ain't talking to you. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> There we go, Scoot. A little black one here. Yeah. Man, yeah. This one's got a little black in him. Uh-huh, that's a little old male. Yeah. Uh, he probably, probably watching that nest, watching them eggs. There you go. Come on, Cole. Come on, Cole. I ain't touching it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he'll go on the grill. That one's got yeah, oh yeah. A little bit better. Ross Barnett. What's crazy is how many people you see out here fishing and everybody's catching fish like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, double, huh? Let me get this one out your way. Oh yeah, he got a little bit bigger one there. Man, come on now. Ain't nothing wrong with that on Ross no. Barnett. My dad taught me something one one day. He said, uh, whoever's boat you in, he's always got to catch a bigger fish or you never get to go back. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that one. I can get yeah. it out of his nose. Top you want the pliers? No, it's not that deep. It's just on the top of his mouth. There we go. A little redemption. Yeah, let's get net on this. That's what we want. Yeah, little buddy. That's one of them old hub caps right there, Cole. Mm -hmm. That's what we like. Hey. Hey, give me the left one. All right. You get the big fish. Uh, oh, cat. Fish. Oh, kitty kitty. That old channel cat, bud. He'd be, he be all right eating, but we don't. I ain't real interested in it. Old channel cap. You got a hub cap? Yeah, you go. If that one got off, Mr. Kidd said he knocked you out. You heard that? He's trying to throw you off. Oh, yeah, let, yeah, let me get some line out. He's over here fishing shallow enough he'd be on the bank, man. What you think, Cole? I'm glad to see him. I thought I was getting a little sleepy. I don't see him for a few minutes. Yeah, you go. I'll wake you up. Yeah. Getting full. Whoa, whoa. Look out, man. Man. Come on. Maybe. Might need a step. Yeah, well, that, yeah. <laughs> Maybe one something. Swirl. Like Daddy said, where there's smoke, there's usually a fire. <laughs> Trolling worked out all right, but if y'all want to switch it up a little bit, man. Let's go check some, yeah. some lily pads up a little bit shallow. Like I said water. earlier, you know, when we first come out, I had some buddies been out here in the evenings. They've been catching them over here in uh, what they call Gilligan's Island, marker number seven, some of that shallow grass. I mean, like two foot of water, you know. Yeah. We go over there and drop a couple of jigs. And, you know, Cole said it's been a long time since he jig fished and then try it out again. Let's see if he still, still got him. Yeah. got it in him. We're going to try these lily pads over here, Kevin. These fish, they still spawning, probably a few females in there, but definitely should be some males left in there guarding the nest and them well, lily pads. When, you, when you're jig fishing, Cole, it's all about how you hold your tongue right. Yeah. You got to <laughs> kick it to the left just a little bit. <laughs> bounce that jig, get that right Give them a lesson or two. They may not be in there. Yeah, that boat, that boat up there sitting up there with an umbrella on. I'm mad and he's doing much something. You had him that time, bud. Oh, look at that, boys. Yes, sir. Took three bumps, I got him. No black one there, boy. What you think? Pretty boy. Mm-hmm. Get on in there. Go ahead, Cole. Go ahead, Cole. White and chartreuse. Chartreuse head. Man, yeah. Just nice to be. They not real picky. Yes. Yep. Look at him. Hope cap, hope cap. Look at there, boys. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with Mississippi on the Ross Barnett, is it? 
Male and female. You going to the back? Take that one with you. <laughs> oh. oh! Hey, I get the net, but. What? Yeah, you go, Cole. So you start talking about not catching one, that's when they hit. Yeah, I mean, you're talking two foot water. I try to just kind of keep it right off the bottom there. Just kind of see, see what they want. There he is. Oh! Good job, man. That's what I'm talking about. Man. <laughs> Whoo, it's a black in there. Look at that one. Just kind of out here in the, in the open. Ain't that something? Hey, fits in that round skillet perfect. Yeah! <laughs> I like catching them like this and just like we did this morning, you know, out there trolling. Um, it's both, both of them work good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just whatever somebody prefers, man. We can, we can troll, crankbait, jig fish, whatever. Hey, just there like that go. right there, there you look. Hey. They better call quick. You're going to be booking up, ain't hey, you? Hey, hey, we put it book, pretty book. Give it, hey, it's good in the spring and in the fall. Man, I tell you what, Terry, it's been an awesome day, brother. Out there in the deep water and up here in the shallows. Yes, Thank sir. Thank you very much. Enjoyed fishing with y'all, man. man. Appreciate oh, it. Oh, even though Cole got to catch a couple here. <laughs> y'all come get you some of these slabs, man. Man. Hey, that's all the time we have for this week. Hope you enjoyed the show. Join us again next time for more exciting adventures. Until then, I'm Pamela Weaver. And I'm Kevin Meacham. See, See you outdoors. outdoors. Outdoors.